Alright, so part two of creating graphs uh, with AutoHotKey inside Excel from SPSS. Um, as you can see here, just to start off, there's no um, Excel file in my CWIT directory. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. Alright, um, this is some commands that runs through and then exports tables in SPSS. So I'm going to run that. It opens the data file, creates my tables. Um, and actually it blinked real fast and exported it, which you can see created this file here. Um, let's go back to here and see there's, uh, I think there's eight tables um, already pre-sorted. And this is the chart label, which will also be the tab name. And they're sorted um, inverse because Excel flips them when they graph. And let's jump over to here. And in Excel, you can see nothing's open. I'm going to hit my key combination. Now it pops open the Excel file and then looks for the tables and graphs whatever tables are there. And in a second here, it will be done. All right, now we can slide this over a little, jump over, and you see um, some very pretty tables set up to how I've specified. Uh, it puts the title here, and then it names it, renames it with a, an underscore in there just in case uh, whatever version of Excel you have can't handle the underscore there. And you can see it flips through, and, and for the most part, um, they look pretty good. There might be some tweaks here and there for some size of the fonts, but it just saves you all the work of actually creating the, the graphs in the first place. It just looks, looks, loops through the Excel file, finds all the ones that fit that parameter, and then graphs them. And here also, you can see I already have other at the bottom, which is how I normally want it. So that's, that was set up in uh, SPSS. Um, and here, obviously, I would I would truncate the size. My next step is to auto scale some of these and change the the intervals to correspond to what size it is. Right now, I have it set at ten for all of them. Uh, but you can see and it can save a lot of time if you have a certain format you want to go with. And that's it. Thanks.